Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Trishita Paul, and today we'll be working through exponential function word problems. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on exponential functions, a playlist will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. Our first problem here states, the population of a town is decreasing at a rate of 3% per year. In 2005, there were 1,600 people. Find the population of the town in 2014. So let's first take a note of what's going on in the problem. The population of the town is decreasing. We're given a rate of 3%. We're given our initial value. Initially, 2005, there are 1,600 people. And we are asked to find the population of the town in 2014. So now that we know that the population is decreasing, we know that we're going to be using our exponential decay model, which means that we're going to be using the decay factor 1 minus r. And given our rate, um, r is equal to 0 0.03, always make sure to convert your percentages into decimals before plugging it in to the exponential growth or decay model. Now we're given our a value here. This is our initial value. And we can set the year 2005 to t equals 0 so that we can easily find or more easily find the population of the town in 2014, which would mean that t is equal to 9. Now what we can do is we can plug in our values into our exponential decay model. f of t is equal to a times 1 minus r to the t. If we plug in what we know, we get f of t is equal to 1600 times 1 minus 0.03 to the t power. We can also reduce, this, reduce down the uh, decay factor if we want to, and that would give us six, uh, 1,600 times 0.97 to the t. Now, to find the population of the town in 2014, we simply plug in 9 for t. To get our answer. Now, the next problem states, you have a savings account with the bank with an interest rate of 1% per year. If you have $5,000 in your account right now, when will your savings reach $5,200? Same thing, we can start by noting what the problem says. We have an interest rate of 1%. We have $5,000 in our bank account right now. And we want to know when our savings is equal to $5,200. So given that it's an interest rate, we know we're going to be using the exponential growth model. So that's going to be 1 plus r, and r is 0.01 per year. You have 5,000 right now. That's going to be our initial value, a. And when will our savings reach $5,200? That's going to be our f of t. So our exponential growth model is f of t is equal to a times 1 plus r to the t power. Now we can plug in what we know given the information. So that's 5,000 times 1 plus 0.01, which is 1.01 to the t power. Now to solve what we're being asked for when our savings is reaching, we're asked for when our savings is uh, will reach $5,200, which means we're trying to find the t value. So we're going to set this $5,200 equal to f of t. you can simply solve from there. 
If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our next unit on sequences and check the description for more helpful resources. We include tips as well as practice problems in the description of every one of our videos. Please make sure to leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.